hello my dear friends hope you guys are doing really good so in today's tutorial we are going to load csv file with liquibase so sometimes what will happen is like you have some constant data that you wanted to load into the database right so that thing we are going to do with the help of liquibase so as you can see here this is number two that means this is the second video on the liquid based concepts the first video been added into this playlist okay so i'm going to put that description you know link of this playlist in a description so what we have discussed in our previous video is by the title you can understand we are going to you know we have built a create table and insert some data into that we are going to continue on top of that today so in our today in our previous video with the help of create table command we have created customer info batch table and these are the columns okay now then next what we did is we have inserted some random data to it now what i am going to do is i have this large csv file okay and i wanted to dump this entire csv file into customer info batch table okay this particular table i wanted to dump with the help of liquibase can i do that yes there is a special command called load data okay that we are going to use today so let me copy paste that particular thing here yeah i think i think uh one minute yeah this change set let me copy paste it here and add one column to it i think yeah i think we are good to go from now onwards okay yeah nice <clears throat> so what we are doing is we have taken a change set let me put my author name and uh, let me keep three here okay as a id because i think one and two is there so if i keep three i know it's going to be unique okay now load data there you have to give the file names and here it is automatically closing it that i don't want i wanted to close this once i set my columns okay now here you have to you don't need this primary key so here you have to mention your csv file and the table name where your csv file is presented my csv file is here guys so what i can do is my change set here so if i come back little bit i can get into that csv file right so i have to do that customers customers dot csv okay and what is the table name this is my table name guys so you can do here and type skip i will come back here so what you are doing here in column section is you are trying to map your db columns with the headers presented in csv file okay this is my csv file right? and i know the first row is about headers so let me take that and uh, maybe somewhere here put it okay now i need to map my headers here right so and this is my id <clears throat> okay so type skip means here if you don't want any data to load you wanted to skip that particular column you can do here but in my case i wanted to load so i can simply remove this and let me copy paste it for all the columns okay i'll do one thing i'll put it in pass mode then i will change this yeah guys so i have almost copy pasted everything here so what i did is i simply mapped my db column here by looking at here okay with my csv column okay 
so that's how i have copy pasted everything okay now one more thing i wanted to let you know here what is that is sometimes your csv file can be uh, comma separated like this sometimes it is pipe separated some other separation also be there so how you can mention is there is something called separator here okay and you need to mention what is that separator if it is a pipe separator you have to separate it like this okay by karma separator is a default one so you don't have to okay so that you can use it so here now what i did is i think mine is successfully completed i'm trying to install this now okay so uh, hope it's it's useful guys and hope you guys can able to understand until here right so if you have any doubt do let me know in a comment section so that i can help more on this particular concept now you could see it is it is trying to you know uh, execute this let's see as of now we don't have that uh, batch table here right if you see here we don't have it okay so it should create that particular table then in that particular table because we have mentioned in a change set then it should execute the next change set that is inserting single data here then it should insert this entire csv with the help of load data csv because of this change set okay so i think build is successful let me try to see whether it got created okay okay so let me see that batch table is it customer batch i think it is not there what i can do is let me drop this particular schema and uh, let me create it something called test right now let me try to re-execute this okay in this way it's very easy to you know track it sometimes what happens is like because of this db change log uh, table that entry might already be in there in your you know db change log table and it won't create that okay so because of that it can happen now let's see now you could see uh, liquid based change log doesn't exist uh, I think it should create it by this time let's see this is customer info batch yes and now you could see it is loaded right with the thousand records yeah i think uh, yeah not i think this is the process guys hope it's useful